I just want you guys to know, there's no way that I'm going to date a man that makes under 200 k a year. That don't even make no sense. I'm not trying to struggle. <laughs> I can struggle by myself. Okay? Why? Hold on, bro. I'm, I'm about to say something. This is the first video and I'm going to say something. Lord, forgive me. Does she have on a mask? Like, that can't be her real face. I'm not trying to be funny. But is that her real face? Why would I want to struggle with a man? So if you're not making 200k, you can't date me. You trying to date me? <laughs> I only take millionaires, baby. Like, what? you better get it right. <laughs> Too many times you had it wrong. Don't be in my inbox. Working where? Where you work? Hmm? That's the only question I got. Where you work? Then I could decide. Hmm. I... Hold on. I just need to walk away before I say something. <laughs> I just need to walk away before I say something. Oh my God. Ooh. 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 You better, you better stop. You better stop. You got, I gotta brush that demon off my shoulder. I gotta brush that demon off my shoulder because I want to say something. Like her face looked like a prosthetic. <laughs> it looked like she got on a rubber mask, bro. Like what? I'm. Is that a? It gotta be a filter, bro. There is. You know what? Let me stop. Let me stop. There, there are people out here. Who have disability and her face might be the the uh the effect of a disability so i'm gonna stop with what she was saying though yo two hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money you don't need two hundred thousand dollars to live comfortably i don't know where people is getting this from when i hear these type when i hear people requesting that a man need to be making 200 500 six hundred thousand to date where you work at? Hmm? How much money you make? When a man wants to go 50-50 with you on a date, do this. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm so embarrassed right now. Um, wait, you wanted to just be friends? I'm so confused. This whole entire time, I thought this was a date. Oh my god. Okay, I'm so sorry. Here's my card. I'm going to be real with you, uh, fellas. If you take a lady out on a date and you want to go 50-50, that's, that's actually a problem. You know what I mean? I, I'm not supporting the gold diggers out here, but I'm just saying. If you extend the offer for a young lady to go on a date with you, I feel as though you should at least have the money to cover both y'all meals. Does it ever stink downstairs? No. Never. I mean, once in a while, yeah, like you know, you get yeast infections and don't they don't smell good and shit like okay, that. Like if no. I haven't, like you know, I've been out running about, sitting in my car driving, my ass gonna be wet. Nice. It's, it's, it's gonna stink a little bit. At least you're honest. <laughs> That's what you're getting the shot for. Not like for. no, not, not like not no. Like no STD stink or nothing like that. No, no fuck you stink. No, no, nothing like, like that. It's like niggas ass to stink all the time. More than women do. My dog. Never had your ass stink. No. I smell cat. Thank you, smell. Yikes. Hey yo, admitting that your stink on video for millions to see is crazy. When I when I come from playing balls, I pause. Pause. Hey yo. Hey yo. I got it. I'ma cut that out. Hey yo. Pause. When I come from playing ball, sometimes my balls smell a little funky. I, I'm going to keep it 100. You know, it's the truth. It's the truth. And if you hoop, I know some of y'all hoop. There's a difference with how you smell when you hooped in the gym and how you smell when you hooped outside. It's a different flavor. It, it been times I come up in here and my wife be trying to get it in. I'm like, oh, hold on, sister. I got to take a shower. I got to take a shower. I got to cleanse the meat. We all we all grown, so we know that sometimes the 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 coochie gonna come with a stench. But we all want our woman to hide that from us. 
We all want to believe that our women smell like roses 24-7. Does a person's body count matter? When deciding to be with someone for the long term, let me tell you one thing you're going to want to know. Their history. I'm not going to waste no time. You got to check the car facts. I believe it does matter because there are many factors that can contribute to why this person has such a high body count. Mm. One being commitment and or trust issues. This person mm. have opened up and have been faithful to one person who unfortunately betrayed them and now they refuse to be vulnerable again until they find the one. Two, it could be because they've never seen their parents, loved one, or friends in a consistent relationship. Maybe they've learned to disconnect their emotions from their relationships, which allows them to move from partner to partner without even thinking about it. Whatever the reason may be, this information can be helpful in determining if a person really likes you and wants to build with you or sees you as another number to their list. Mm. Views on body counts, just like any other subject, can give you insight to what they value. And if those values don't align with yours, then you're free to decide if you want to invest in that person or not. But at least you can do so knowing all the facts. And then there's also mental attachments. Every time you lay down with someone, your brain produces a hormone called oxytocin, also known as the bonding hormone. Meaning after you've done the act, you give yourself... Does a person's body... Damn, it cut off and she, she was finna go in. But, um, damn, yo... Preach, my Nubian sister. Preach. Yo, listen. Before you start dating somebody, or while you dating somebody, you do your research, man. You gotta, you gotta check the car facts. Man. You gotta check the pum pum facts. Okay. You gotta check the pum pum facts. Some of these, some of these people running run around here got a lot of mileage, you know. And the last thing she stated, I think it's true. I've always said this too. Anytime you sleep with somebody, you take a piece of them with you. I didn't have a scientific explanation for it. I just used to say that if you sleep with a chick that got some bad juju, it's going to follow you. I don't want to sound superstitious, but I feel as though, man, if you sleep with somebody that have bad energy, whether, it's be, whether, whether it be a, a male or a female, if that person is coming with bad energy, that energy is going to rub off on you. And now a lot of negativity might follow you. I'll give you an example. It's this chick I know, bro. Every dude that she slept with either lost their relationship, lost their business, lost their family, <laughs> attempted suicide. Hey, don't be mad at my shorty, dog. I'm not mad at my shorty. Chitty respect. Chitty respect. Go ahead. I'm not my boy with that ugly ass I'm Giants not. fucking hey. shirt on. Hey. You hey. put it in the washer hey. too much, hey. huh? Look, I'm gonna say something. No, 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 no. And Miss Girl, go fucking birds. Hello, how are she you? She a bird too? She got a Cali. Gk, I got to build a pretty. Fuck you, wrong bitch. <laughs> I just wanna ask, you know what I'm saying? What's the craziest thing I've done on camera? Craziest thing I've done on camera? Uh, I've been wilding out a lot of times, you know. We're in Tampa. What's the wildest thing you did on camera? Yo, go get your Giants fans away from me before I get the fuck out of here. Fuck his ass. Go fucking birds. Get down, oh, yeah. Third place every year must be fun, huh? Yeah. I remember when I was fucking 12 years old. Shit's retarded. Anyway. First off, my boy tried to holler and she curved him. That's what I'm going to say. Then she doubled down on it and started going off on him. Chicks like that. You got to be careful. I'm going to tell you why you got to be careful, bro. Her energy, she automatically will become one of the bros, right? She obviously watched football, so you could sit there and watch football with her. You probably could wrestle with her and do all types of weird shit with her. And, like, her energy, bro, yeah, I'll stay away from her. Because she'll probably hurt you. She'll hurt you. She'll break your heart. You fall in love with her, and she'll break your heart. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the video. I know y'all saw the chair with full of clothes right here. There's an explanation. So, right quick, I got some new hoodies. I'm still, well, I want to say I'm still working out the design, but I think the design is already completed. These are actually fire, man. So, look at the blue one. This is actually how they're going to look. And, uh, yeah, man, I appreciate you guys. I was planning to go at the end of the video and explain to y'all how y'all changed my life. But I can't because my wife um my wife just called me and told me that her battery died. So I have to cut the video short and I have to go jump her car battery. So probably tomorrow I'll go into more details about these. 
I ain't gonna lie, this joint look nice. I'm gonna go into de more detail about those, and I'm gonna uh, probably do a mini vlog, kind of showing y'all. It's it's a surprise. All right, I love you guys.